Hello, David Bradley here. Welcome to the pet room. We are looking at the back of a pet. This is actually the 4032, which has not been upgraded, but the reason we're here is to look at these ports. Now, it's tough to get a good angle on this, but anyway, this here, and don't worry, the pet is off. I can do this. This is the IEEE port. This is the user port. And how can you tell? Well, if you look, first of all, if you're looking at the back of the machine, the user port is in the middle of the three ports. The cassette port is on the left and the IEEE port on the right. How can you tell? How can you tell? Well, there is a notch. It's hard to see, but there's a notch. There's three pins. Then there's a notch. Then there's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven pins, and then there's a notch, and then there's two more. And the user port, there are two pins, and then one pin. So that means that, of course, if you do have an IEEE cable that has the inserts in it, it will not fit in the user port. But, of course, most things don't have the inserts in them. So you just got to know. Now, some of the machines up above here might say, IEEE port or user port and next to it which is not pictured in this is the cassette port which is the same of course well I guess it's a little bit here a little bit a little tiny bit which looks exactly the same as the cassette port on the VIC-20 and the Commodore 64 and I guess the Commodore 128 anything they had the cassette port on it was the same thing except when you got into the plus four and the commodore 16 they they were round but anyway it's six pins and it has a notch um, if you were starting at the left it'd be two pins a notch and four pins the user port is one pin and I can barely see this. And this user port looks a little dark. One pin, a notch, and then one, two. Let me get my glasses. Let's see here. Or maybe if I got this other light, maybe it would light it up better for me. Maybe. Of course, you're just looking at the end. Anyway, user port has one pin, a notch, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, then a notch, and then two pins. Otherwise, the connectors will fit on the wrong ports. They will. If you don't have the inserts in, you don't know what is what. So you got to be careful. you got to be aware that looking at the back of the machine, get that port on the left, User port in the middle, IEEE port on the right. Of course, that's all reversed if you are at the front of the machine. But essentially, also, the IEEE port is pretty much, maybe not bang on, and I don't have something to measure, it's pretty much in the middle of the back of the machine. And the cassette port is at the very far side, and the user port is midway between those two. And then over from that, then that's where you see the serial number and warning stickers and the fuse and the and the, the power plug and the switch to turn it on and off. So I'm going to now grab a pet. This is the pet end of it. The pet to IEEE cable. I'm going to hook this pet to the 2040 dual disk drive, which has been upgraded to a 4040, and see if I can send some commands and have things happen. Anyway, just be careful and, and certainly don't just reach around behind the pet and think you've got the right thing. Um, I've never heard of serious damage being done, but you know, don't risk it. Make sure you know what's what. And remember also, when it comes to the IEEE cable, if it doesn't have the notches, that, let me see if I have one around. 
that I can just stick in here. Oh, I do. Okay. This one. Oh, this one. Now, let's see if this actually works. You can see this. Let's see what we can see. The table. Oh, well, okay. I'm going to show this first. There is the Commodore logo. And definitely it is up the other side. We'll have something else written. It doesn't necessarily mean this is what it is. This one happens to say, but it, it, what does it say? Mitsumi Cinch P87-1. That is definitely the bottom. The other thing that you can see, oh, don't mess this up after all these years. Now I'll see if I can get this in here. It's tough because the table was long. Oh yeah, there we are. If you look at the cable at the end, there are the little notchy things, the little space maintainers that means that I should be able to take this, line it up with the IEEE port, and push it on and be very secure in the knowledge that it is the right way up and it is on the right port. I must be careful, the, the board in this machine is not screwed it down, it's on its little legs. It is. Anyway, perhaps this is the cable that I will first use to test this. So, the logo it will be on the top if it has the cutouts or the things in there they will be in the corresponding positions be careful out there and uh, these pet to i triple e cables are mighty hard to find um they are the, the other cables that have both ends that look like Dirty, but anyway, I'll show it anyway. The other end of the cables look like this. That's the IEEE end. And you see there are little screw things that you can fasten. Them. This one could use a little cleaning. It looks like it's had something on there, but all the pins look okay. I think on both sides, yes, they do. Anyway, so the IEEE and IEEE cables will still use some places. I think for mostly strange industrial machines and such. So if you ever see something and you find a, pa a pet to our Triple E cable, uh, not a bad thing to have around. Because you just never know, you know. Anyway, so thanks for being here. Stay tuned. We'll hook these two up together and see if they see if they want to talk. See if they want to dance. Thanks so much for being here. Bye for now.